Got it. Why are you talking about this early in the morning? I extracted the data from my sister's PC. Well done. Not entirely sure I did it correctly, though. Ooh, I've been waiting for this. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I have to head to school right now, though. Oh, my bad. Bring it right after then. I'm gonna punish you if you're late. Looks like it went well. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, before that, we should get over to school. We should. Seriously? I wish our principal would have a change of heart. He knew all about Kamashita, but kept his mouth shut. Ridiculous. Well, let's vote him up on the fan side. I can't imagine the fandom fees wouldn't go after someone so rotten. I'm sure other teachers knew too. Anyone who did deserves a change of heart. Yeah, but wait. What if it messes up our school trip? Maybe we should wait until after. Oh, yes. Next week is the school trip you've all been looking forward to. Have you been getting ready? Your destination is none other than Hawaii. I hope your passport isn't about to expire. You're heading out on Wednesday, so there's no time to get a new one printed. Anyhow, I'm sure you'll enjoy your time sightseeing in Hawaii more if you have more knowledge. Now then, look closely at this picture. Okay, this is King Kamehameha, the founder of Hawaii. Ah, let's see how you're doing. Each hand in this famous statue means something, but do you know what the right represents? No. Um... Hmm. Victory. Hmm. I'm afraid Incorrect. Not. The right hand represents the prosperity of Hawaii. And the spear in the left hand represents peace. Of course it does. As an aside, it seems that the statue is not of King Kamehameha himself. After Kamehameha's death, another king commissioned a statue using a boy from his court as the model. Yep. I hope you will make the most out of your five days there. Let me just say that I have a fondness for macadamia nuts, so... <laughs> Souvenirs, huh? I definitely wouldn't want to get some wooden figurine. I can't understand why people would send things like that as gifts. Here you go. I think I did it right. <laughs> Leave it to me. Whoa, you grabbed all these? Are they for Hawaii? If we're gonna lay low, we might as well enjoy it. Oh, look at this one! Gigantic sea turtle sightseeing on some beach. Come on, food's more important than some turtle. You really don't find steak this big and thick in Japan. Also, mahi mahi? Is that some kind of fish? Think it's good? It seems that it's the season for schools all around. We're going on our school trip as well. Yeah? Where are you guys going? I believe it's Los Angeles. <laughs> that doesn't suit you at all, Yusuke. I bet you wanted to go somewhere like Nikko or Nara. Anywhere is acceptable. After all, the mineral pigments used for Japanese art were originally imported. Hawaii and Los Angeles, huh? Which would you want to go to? Definitely Hawaii. But Los Angeles is hard to give up too. No, nope, fairly easy for me to give up. I mean, don't I seem like an LA guy? Like a total gangster? Nope. That makes no sense at all. Hawaii is more of a resort place than LA, so I'd rather go there. So we won't be seeing each other for a while. We'll make sure to buy a souvenir for you. Ooh, here comes some interesting data. This is just from a quick glance, but it says perpetrated and connected. It means that mental shutdowns aren't coincidence. That this is a case with a culprit behind it. Actually, it's not just about people having shutdowns. It looks like she's inferring that the psychotic breakdown incidents are connected to the same case. Go Makoto Sis! How long do you think it'll take to analyze all of it? Hmm. There's a lot, so it's not happening overnight. But I'll manage by the time you guys get back. 
I demand souvenirs from Hawaii and <laughs> LA for my reward. I don't really get all this, but you're as amazing as always, Futaba. I guess it's called an information war? Oh, it's so high-tech and modern. Kind of reminds me of a movie. We're the Phantom Thieves, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, I can turn into a car and stuff, too. Come on, don't try and compete with her. What did you say? You're fine the way you are, Morgana. Like, you're cheeky cute? Cute? Videon, I... Well, we'll continue this when we get back from the trip. I can't wait to see how much the Phantom Thieves popularity is increased by then. Oh, Akichi, what are you doing here? The hell? Don't forget to prepare yourselves for the trip, okay? You're really sounding like a teacher right now, man. What are you even saying that for? Didn't I tell you? I'll be coming along. What? The teachers have asked me to chaperone the trip in their place. Wait, what? I didn't hear a damn thing about that. Is there a problem? I'm glad we can go together. Yes, I was worried about how many troublemakers there would be. Are you talking about us? No, you specifically. But why are they having you go at all, Makoto? It seems some teachers have to stay behind to deal with that tabloid article. So they decided to get a couple of third years to act as additional chaperones. It seems a few others besides myself will be going as well. Oh, I see. Either way, this overseas trip has been truly long awaited. I expect leaving Japan will be a great eye-opener for us. This is a wonderful opportunity, so we should be sure to enjoy it. Don't forget souvenirs. Akichi. Oh, well, do Akichi first. Welcome home. I hope you don't mind that I'm intruding on your home again. I expect we've both had a long day. I was out until now with work, but I think I can finally take a break. You're not planning on anything too strenuous tonight, are you? Not much. And perhaps we can talk over some of Boss's coffee. Not that I'm complaining, but if you two are so tired, maybe you could use a bath more than a coffee. I mean, there's a bathhouse right there. A bathhouse? That doesn't sound too bad. Want to come with me? I'd appreciate it if you could show me the way. What sure. do you want to do? Oh, really? If that's the case, I suppose I'll take you and boss up on that suggestion. Oh, this feels wonderful. It's been a while. So relaxing. It brings back memories. I spent a lot of time in these when I was young. So... Of course, these days I'm the detective prince, but my family situation was... Well, complicated. By the time I was old enough to realize it, my father was already gone. My mother was all I had. My mother worked at a nightclub. Whenever she had to bring a man home, she'd send me off to the local bathhouse. You've been through a lot. It's in the past. I have no reason to blame her either. The only one who deserves blame is my father, the worthless degenerate excuse for a man who abandoned my mother. I wanted to force him to finally give her the apology he owes her, but that's no longer possible. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for our conversation to get so depressing. Actually, are you alright? I know the hot water can make people dizzy. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm just getting warmed up. Don't go overheating now. I wouldn't want you to collapse on my account. Mm, ah, that's quite nice. refreshing. These really taste the best when you're just out of the bath. Oof, I think I feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> yes, I win. You sure about that? Your entire body is bright red. Hmm. This is the first time I've ever taken a bath like this. I've never told anyone else about my family situation either. I wonder why I told you. Curious indeed. So we're similar. <laughs> now that you mention it, maybe we are pretty similar deep down. We're both victims of the adults who unfairly impacted our lives. I think you're right. Hmm. I'm even more sure of that after having talked with you. Then again, this probably isn't a conversation we should be having naked. Let's get dressed, shall we? Bond is growing deeper. Rank 6. Alright. Hmm. My skin still feels like it's radiating heat. Next time, let's keep the competition out of the bath. Best to save it for the... By... By... By Zay? I don't know. Right? Though we could always see who changes faster. First to leave wins. 
Are you ready? Goodbye then. Well, see you later. Hey, between the delicious coffee and the bath, I finally managed to relax, so thank you. It's nice to spend a day as Goro Akechi for once, rather than the Detective Prince, you know? I don't know if it is because of the whole Prince image, but everyone seems to think I'm some brilliant prodigy. It's really nothing like that, but people always seem to misunderstand. If they saw how I was acting today, perhaps they'd say I wasn't acting like the Detective Prince. They'd probably love it. <laughs> I suppose there's a certain appeal to that gap, isn't there? But I suppose you're the only one who sees that side of me. Nobody else particularly needs to anyway. Honestly though, I just can't figure you out no matter how I try. You and I have common grounds in some aspects, but in others we're total opposite. It's intriguing. The more I get to know you, the more it makes me think. I wonder why that is. Now I'm veering into strange territory. I should let you go for now. See you. Who should I vote for in the rankings? Isn't this kind of interesting? I could choose a detective, right? He seems kind of incompetent. He talks big, but he doesn't even do anything. I hate people like that. They're all talk. Hey, do you go to arcades a lot? There's a forum post that's been bothering me lately. Apparently there's a nasty gamer at an arcade nearby. Nasty how? From the sounds of it, he's a frequent cheater. Lately he's been focusing on a popular shooting game called Gun About and ruining people's fun. According to the post, he mostly spends his time down at the arcade called Gigolo on Central Street. It might just be a game, but cheating is inexcusable. Nasty gamer. It's definitely possible he'll exist in Mementos. Mishima said he's at the arcade on Central Street, right? Let's go see what this is all about. Sure. Will do. Okay. Yep, next Wednesday we're leaving for the school trip. Uh, first off, hey, hey. give the house plants some nutrients. More kindness, which is good. And then I think we've got something to put up. Uh, the Jack Frost stall, exactly. Bring it over there, sure. Yeah, nice place for it. Okay, then uh, there is no particular reason to go down. Uh, we are going to. The underground walkway first to get our smoothie. Yes, what I would like some out you. Beauty or charm. Man. Nice. nice indeed. Okay. Then we'll go to Central Street. To the arcade. It's right there. Hey, hey! There's a momentous target there here we haven't identified yet, right? Possibly. What? You want to play this? I'm playing gun about right now, so don't bother me. Hey, did you get change yet? It's um, it won't take my one thousand yen bill. Oh, now is my chance. The cheater's logged in. Hey, hurry up and bring me back some change. The cheater. Some people online found his real name on a social media site, and now they're all raging. I think his real name is Yoshikuni Nejima. That dirtbag is 30, 40 years old and jobless. Well, I'm gonna crush Nejima and be a hero. Y you don't seem to be winning at all. Shut up, just go and bring me back some change already. So that's the malevolent player that Mishima was talking about. He's the infamous cheater. It's one thing to cheat if you're playing alone, but it's wrong to mess with other people like that. We got his name too. It looks like Yoshikuni Nejima is going to be our next target. And apart from that, oops, you uh, can just see while we're here, I mean, there's no harm in just checking the bookstore. What can I get you? Oh, new books, Tokyo Shrines, a photo guidebook, Night Skies, a stargazing guidebook that has a special on planetariums, and Musty Pages, a guide that lets you feel the atmosphere of the antique book town. 
grab those. And then we will uh, see what messages we got. Takumi, have you been taking care of your body? A lot of my patients have suddenly become ill lately. So you're okay? I can examine you if you'd like. Sure. We'll go see her. Hey. The evenings have been getting cooler. It's easy to get sick in that in-between period as the seasons change, so be careful. You came because you saw my messages, right? Yep. I might want to try a different environment so I can understand how pressure affects the data. For example, someplace that's high above the ground. I'll have to find a good location. Okay, let's do today's clinical trial. Sure. Please head to the exam room. She's pleased. She was able to collect useful data. And will grow stronger soon. Bye. Nice. Ah, you're back. I'm so bored. What are you talking about? Analyze that data. My PC's doing all the work. That leaves me with nothing. We are preparing for our school trips. None of us have the time to entertain you right now. Oh shoot, I need to go shopping. All we need is a toothbrush, right? What are you panicking for? It's a lot I need. Shampoos, lotions, conditioners? Ah, that reminds me. I should pack a canvas. This trip will be a prime painting opportunity. Will one be enough, though? That's more than enough. No, I should bring free. Inspiration may strike at any moment in time. Now regarding canvas size, bigger is better, yes? What are you asking us for? What I mean is you shouldn't take shit like that with you. <laughs> being alone to talk to each other openly like that must be nice, being able to. Not alone. And... Okay, we could work there, but we won't. Um, shall we do a test? Shall we indeed? Or shall we listen to his speech? You know what? Sure. We'll help Yoshida. Why not? Everyone. Poverty. Working poor. Our country's job market is terrible. Depression and suicide are on the rise and the young workforce is being crushed on a daily basis. The evil that permeates the corporate world has filtered down into society. Good evening. Hello. Stamina is important for public speaking as well. You're still young, but take care of yourself. I received a dinner invitation from diet man Matsushita. He would like for you to come as well. Let me know if you would like to attend. I'd be delighted if you would consider this as helping with my campaign and join me. Sure. Right away then. And I'll make the call. Uh, it'll be at a hotel nearby. Kuramoto has been in and out of the hospital. I hear he's not going to run in the upcoming election. I see. He plans for his grandson, who's also in our party, to take his place. Yes. Unfortunately, this is all beyond me now. Yoshida. Hey, you have to keep eating. You're still growing, you know? I invited you along because I wanted to ask you something. What do you think about the Phantom Thieves? You've heard of them, right? They've become quite popular as of late. I'd like to hear your honest opinion as a young man. Are you for or against them? I'm for them. <laughs> you have a very adaptable way of thinking. Most people who want to get into politics are jealous of them. What about you? However they manage to change hearts, I respect their belief in crushing evil and saving the weak. Isn't that similar to what you advocate? You're right. I can't deny that, but that's not why I support them. I bet they're a group of young people. Young people who have experienced cruelty and injustice. They bravely face the societal ills that plague our world without thinking of the consequences. Mm. Brave yet pitiful, I suppose. So the former diet member who was disgraced by scandals is going to side with them, huh? Is this what you asked me here to speak to me about? No, the party has decided which candidates it will back in the various electoral zones. Mm? And? One of our main candidates will represent this area, according to the party's election strategy. You have no chance of winning. Mm. So you're saying that I should give up my campaign to become a diet member? I won't beat around the bush. Drop out of the election and become my right-hand man. It won't be for naught. I'll put in a motion to have you reinstated as a party member. And I will perform an extensive investigation into your expense misappropriation ac accusations. What? Matushita. You'd finally be able to clear your name. Think about it. I'll see you again soon, Mr. Secretary. <sighs> uh, 
He likely has an ulterior motive. If he felt hopeful, he wouldn't ask me to not run for the diet. I expect he's trying to take advantage of me. That happens a lot in this world. What would you do at a time like this? I'd decline. So you're telling me to take control of my destiny, hmm? You're very inspiring. Thank you. Thank you for telling me your honest opinion. Don't worry, I won't stop giving speeches. Above all, I wish to continue speaking with you. You have such a fresh outlook on the world. Rank six. All right. Let's finish up for today. Sorry I made you tag along. I shall ask you again another time. Sorry I made you tag along today. I'm sure you'll end up having to face something similar someday, so let me share my thoughts. When people come to you with these negotiations, you need to see what's really on the table. Do you see the offer as a risk or an opportunity? You'll have your own major decisions to make in time. The most crucial thing is that you don't lose sight of who you are. I'll keep that in mind. Good. It's important to listen to what other people say, but you can't let them overpower your own voice. I let that happen and look where it got me. Now I'm sorry, and maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about this. Well then, until next time, good night. That's wild! <laughs> the fan views have been so popular lately. What is the fan site? Oh, they have new merch. Nice work, Phantom Thieves. <sighs> I mean, even the harshest TV commentators are praising them. A lot of celebrities are talking openly about the Phantom Thieves. The Phantom Thieves fight for the people. Anyone opposed to them is just behind the times. Just look at that Akechi kid. He's catching a ton of shit for what happened with Medjet. Justice can't exist so long as the Phantom Thieves do. Big talk from someone who can't even catch them. Even politicians are claiming the Phantom Thieves are dangerous. They're all full of hot air, though. The Phantom Thieves are totally trustworthy. Mm. Looks like people are coming around to us. I don't get it. Everyone's, everyone knows about the cover-up. It's not really a big deal anymore. You know what is a big deal? My gun about rank going up. And about the super reel? That's the one with the gun-shaped controller, right? Everyone's talking about it. The multiplayer is so good. The arcade in Central Street has it, so does the one in Akihabara. You should give it a try sometime. I played against someone really good the other day. I couldn't land a single shot on them. Yep. All anyone talks about anymore is the Phantom Thieves. I kind of miss when no one knew who you were. Not a single message, hey? Alright, uh, let's see again if uh, Maroki wants to talk to us. Presumably not. Oops, wrong way. Uh, but we might check. I think probably next time would be um, by the time we come back from the school trip. But who knows? Yes, I'm sorry. Yes, okay. Um, who can we talk to then? Who would like to? Here, apparently. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, wait, is that outside of the cafe? Oh, Daba. Hello there. Yo. Oh, that's right. Um, well, sorry about what happened in Haki Harbor. I really messed up. Futaba looks really depressed. Maybe you should cheer her up. I might be able to comfort Futaba if my kindness were selfless. I'm okay, I promise. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, we need to improve our kindness. I see. Uh, no. Let's go somewhere else. Can I fast travel to the hideout? Yes, okay. I just want to play some... Oh. That's everyone. And of thieves are on fire. We're trending on all the hot social media networks. I actually didn't want to do that at all. I just wanted to read. Or yeah, okay. Well, then we gotta find something else. What's uh, the cinema is still closed, right? What about the cinema in Central Street? What does that show? Does that have anything new?
Ah, uh, no, I don't want to see Le Miserable again. The kindness is the thing we need, right? Yes. Well. You know what? Sure. Is it going to improve our oh. kindness by the same thing as the first time, or is it going to have, like, less of an effect? It was him. He stole the silverware. <laughs> he even stole the candlesticks. Thief. Confess your crime. Oh, is there no God in this world? Does that bishop guy have a grudge against the other guy or something? I feel like I was able to learn how to be more compassionate to others. Okay, it is diminishing returns. Just one point. We even watched the credits all the way Let's to the very back. end. Yes. Let us head back indeed. Okay. Hey. Tarbo mentioned you guys are going on a school trip later this week. I'm not giving you any money, okay? And don't worry about getting me a souvenir or anything like that. Yep, sure. More nutrients? Okay, it looks healthy for now. Uh, who wants something to do with this? Oh, yeah, yeah well. I'd rather improve my kindness. What do we have? Guts? Okay. Uh, let's play a game. Kinder. Train of life. Okay. Startup train of life. First off hmm. is the novice course. Ah, I see. Not only do the dice rolls move you forward, you can also use them to buy properties. I think things are going well. You might finish in first place at this rate. Oh. Huh? There's something strange up ahead. Is that an octopus? Blorb, my name is Octavius. I'll let you go if you can satisfy me, Blorb. You'll have three chances, Blorb. Does this guy exist just to get in our way? You can roll my favorite secret number or higher. I'll let you pass, Blorb. You can roll the dice up to three times if you want, Blorb. You'll never guess my secret number, though, Blorb. So we need to roll at least a secret number? But he didn't even give us a hint. I guess we should just try to get the highest number possible. Well then, here's your first roll, Blorb. Okay. Not bad. Hmm, nine, Blorb. You want to go with this number, Blorb? Yes. Okay then, your number is 9, Blorp. As for the secret number, do you remember my name, Blorp? It's 8. It's Octavius, Octa as in the number 8. Blorp, ho, ho. Blorp, you bested my secret number trial. I guess I'll be retreating then, Blorp. Huh, Octavius arrived the way into the sunset. Alright, let's head down onward to the goal. Hey! We made it to the finish line in first place. What a battle. My paws are all sweaty. Well, it seems you learned how to keep your heart open, even in the face of brutally unfair requests. <laughs> Come on, give me four. Yeah. Well, it's starting to get late. Let's head to sleep soon, okay? I wonder how much longer this heat will continue. It's exhausting. You know the rankings that are popular nowadays. Are you interested in them too? Of course. I don't blame you. Everyone's paying attention to it. Did you know my name is listed too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval of the group. Before I knew it, I turned into a bona fide villain. Still, I thought that if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. Well, talking anymore will make us late. It's all over the news. Check out the fandom piece, Chocolate Wafer. I saw it in Shibuya and couldn't help myself. It comes with a sticker, right? There's so much fandom feast merchandise all of a sudden. Although, if you ask me, Phantom Feast isn't a very cool name. I don't know, I like it. It's so mysterious. Do you think it's a bad idea to post my own name to the fan site to get a change of heart? I just want to meet the Phantom Thieves. Okay, let's get started. School trips tomorrow, huh? I always got so excited the night before my trips. 
You leave tomorrow, right? It'll take six or seven hours to get to Hawaii, so it'll be morning when you arrive. Oh yeah, watch out for that jet lag. Hawaii's time is 19 hours behind Japan's time zone. Which means you'll get there on the morning of the 7th. You're leaving at night, but arriving in the morning of the 7th. That might be quite a shock to your systems. Jet lag is one thing, but our perception of time itself can become distorted sometimes. Have you ever looked at your watch and felt like the second hand stopped for longer than a second? You? Say. Do you know the name of that phenomenon where the second hand looks like it stopped moving? No. Uh, I'm gonna go with that, because that... Well, that maybe. That's... No, neither of those make any sense. Chronostasis, I believe, is... Uh, well, stasis, I think, is something stopping. But I just, I just don't have any idea what the hell Fjord's law is. Uh, but it definitely sounds like something that could be the case. And I don't... Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Mm. Sorry. Nope, okay. Quite. That, maybe that was a hard one. The correct answer is chronostasis. You see. When a person changes their viewpoint, there's a moment of time that goes unaccounted for in their mind. In order to fill that blank, the brain experiences a fictional moment. That's where this phenomenon comes from. The human brain really is incredible, right? It can make you feel like time has stopped. Yep. Okay. Oh, but my time's already up. See you. I want to hear all your stories when you get back, okay? Have fun. <sighs> You're going to Hawaii tomorrow, huh? Don't worry about the house. I'll... Well, me and Futaba can hold down the fort. Oh, yeah. This time tomorrow, we're going to be in Hawaii. I can't wait. You have your time roll. Yeah, we'll still be in Japan at that point. Rizzi, you know you're not leaving until tomorrow night, right? Wait, for real? Enough of the chit-chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't care about that after what I just heard. I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Well, time to research sightseeing spots in Hawaii. We got over that pretty damn fast. Oh yeah, are there any famous places in Los Angeles? Hollywood. It has a vibrant art scene as well. I expect the trip will prove quite stimulating. That don't hold a candle to Hawaii's beaches, though. There are a multitude of fabulous beaches near Los Angeles as well, you know. Uh-huh, it's close to the ocean. Do you know where LA is? Well, it's the capital of America, so in the middle somewhere? There's so much wrong with that. What about Hawaii? I don't know, some ocean, I guess? You're hopeless. How long are you all going to keep this up? <sighs> Come on, can't you guys be more mature about this? <laughs> I know you guys are excited for the trip, but you're getting a little carried away. Hey, hey shouldn't you tell the others about the target momentous? What about no? Uh, Alright. But we are going to end this episode here for now. And next episode, we'll get right into the trip abroad to Hawaii. Um, yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys again next time. Till then, bye.